Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bacardi Shift. My name is Jared Schmidt. Today we're gonna to be doing a segment called My Favorite Mix. So we get to mix a cocktail and we get to talk a little about music. We're mixing cocktails and music and those are two of my favorite things. The featured spirit for this episode is going to be Aberfeldy Scotch. In particular, I'm working with Aberfeldy 12 Highland Single Malt Scotch. Aberfeldy Scotch has been distilling in the same distillery since 1898. If we backtrack to four years earlier than that, one of the world's most famous scotch cocktails came out. In 1894, that was the invention of the Rob Roy, and that occurred at the Waldorf Astoria. Rob Roy is actually named after a Scottish folk hero and uh, an operetta going by the same name. And this kind of plays into our music theme too, because the songs we're going to be listening to are folk songs. Cocktails have stories to them, and folk songs are kind of about telling stories. So, I'm going to tell you about a playlist of five Canadian folk songs and artists that I think you need to listen to. Because the Rob Roy is based on a Scottish folk hero, I think it's incredibly appropriate to listen to some Canadian folk music while enjoying a cocktail like this. All the Time by the Bahamas, song number one. So, for the Rob Roy cocktail, it's a very simple cocktail. It's often called the Scotch Manhattan, but it is scotch, sweet vermouth, and aromatic bitters stirred, put in a coupe. Simple cocktail, it's beautiful just the way it is. We're gonna alter it ever so slightly, just to my preferences for this particular scotch today. Next up on our playlist of Canadian folk songs is Barrett's Privateers by Sam Rogers. So, we're going to start with two ounces of Aberfeldy 12 as the heart of our Rob Roy today. And some people are purists when it comes to scotch and they think you should only drink scotch neat or on the rocks or with a little bit of water. And I agree with them, scotch is great to enjoy like that, but drink things how you like to drink them. Scotch cocktails are delicious. Scotch is great in cocktails and by itself. The next artist on our playlist is one of my favorites, and he's actually from Vancouver, Dan Mangan. We're gonna to listen to a song called Robots by Dan Mangan. Next up, we're gonna add our sweet vermouth. We're gonna use half an ounce of Martin Rosso. Classic sweet vermouth. This recipe is also incredibly old. It dates back generations and generations, and it was probably similar or almost the same to the sweet vermouth that would have been used in the time of the Rob Roy's invention. So, half an ounce of this. Next up, now here is where I'm modifying the cocktail ever so slightly. Remember how I said there's a lot of nice honey and fruit notes in the Aberfeldy 12? I love those flavors, so we're gonna be adding a little bit of Benedictine. This is a French honey herbal liqueur, one of my favorite modifiers, uh, absolute go-to. So we're gonna be doing a quarter ounce of this, and this is kind of our modified Rob Roy for the day. Quarter ounce of that. The next song on our Canadian folk playlist to listen to is going to be a song called Fashionable People by the Joel Plaskett Emergency. Just like the original recipe, we're going to do two dashes of Angostura bitters. It just works so well in this cocktail, it just kind of binds everything together, it makes it sing harmoniously. Our final song for the segment tells an important Canadian story. It tells the Canadian story of a uh, uh, good city <laughs> in this country. It's called One Great City by the Weaker Thans. And uh, anyone in Canada or anyone who's visited the provident province of Manitoba is probably going to enjoy the song. So it's definitely quintessential Canadian folk music listening for you. And now we'll get up our glassware. I've got a coupe all nice and chilled and ready for our cocktail like this. We can add some ice to our mixing glass here. And then we're gonna give this a nice long stir. This is quite cold freezer temperature, so probably about 20 seconds here. And then just give that a little taste, make sure that you hit the right temperature and dilution level for this cocktail. Perfect. Now take a julep strainer or a hot thrown strainer. We're gonna strain this into our chilled coupe. All right, get to the last drop. On this cocktail, I like to do a little bit of a lemon zest for a garnish, and I don't even put it in the drink. I love just the clean look 
of an ungarnished coop in this particular instance, but those lemon oils are nice. So just spray some lemon oils over top of the drink like that. It gives a really bright, fresh citrus nose. And then deeper in that, you're gonna find notes of that uh, malted barley and the barley backbone in it, as well as a lot of honey and fruit notes as well. All right, everyone, that concludes today's episode of Bacardi Shift. Thank you so much for joining me today, and please check out the other Bacardi Shift videos. There's a lot of great content being put on there right now. So, until next time, cheers, enjoy.